So I'm assuming that you use, you, you're a regular ChatGPT user. I've been using it some, yeah. Okay. Give us a couple of examples of how you use it in your real life. Yeah, yeah. I hate that term, real life. I know. Like, right? Yeah. Okay. It's right. like, a, you, as opposed to my fake life. Yeah, my second life, my online life. Yeah, so how, do you, how, do you, how does Matt Miller yeah. use ChatGPT? You know, um, we've started using it for, you know, like creating, um, example, uh, we've got like contracts and legal documents and stuff that we do with my, my business sometimes. Yeah. And so if we need a little clause thrown into that or a draft of the, like that kind of thing, there you go. That's one way you can use it. Of course, it's not, you know, reviewed by a lawyer or anything. I was going to say, you might want to run that through. Well, but I You think, might want to run that through. Yeah, <laughs> but I think that's a good example of the way that it gets used all the way around. Like, yeah, let's get it to produce all sorts of stuff, but let's put some human eyes on it before we do anything with it. I think anybody that wants to use this technology and is just going to blindly copy-paste what comes out of chat GPT or whatever, if they're going to just copy and paste it and not even look at it, that, that brings up, sorry, I keep going to the philosophical. You asked me a very no, specific no, no, question, no. but I, I want to do a deep dive, man. But I think that that brings up a really important question. Like if we're going to farm stuff like that out to uh, artificial intelligence and not even look at it and not even think, thinking is part of what makes us human, right? The human brain it d does things that artificial intelligence can't do. Correct. So it starts to get to this bigger question of what truly makes us human? What makes us valuable as human beings that the artificial intelligence can't do? And of course, in this very specific scenario of getting a little bit of you know, legal jargon, um, we read over it and we make sure that it makes sense. Because just like you said, um, you, know, you bring it up and you look at a response and sometimes there's grammar errors and sometimes oh, yeah. it's factual and we know that there's bias all over it and the, the more that it gets trained by human users, the better it will get. But um, I, think, I think that's one of the big questions that we've got to ask. But that's definitely one place, um, you know, using it to do like little HTML things on my website. Um, yeah. uh, I've, I've asked it for ideas for like blog posts and stuff. And so, I mean, I, I just think it's a really good starting point for a lot of things. But I think especially in its form right now, um, with all of these uses that I've used it for and lots of other things, you still have to give it the human go through before you're ready to say, okay, whatever it is that I was working on, it's done. I think it still has to have human eyes on it. Yeah, before you can check that box. Yeah, yeah. So you, you literally just planted that seed in my head about legal jargon. Really? Okay. Yeah. Writing up contracts. You hadn't thought about that, yeah. huh? I have to, I normally write up contracts on my own. Uh -huh. And, you know, uh, I have a lawyer uh -huh. kind of that, you know, <laughs> I can run stuff by, mm -hmm. but I never, I'm, my mind is blown. Yeah. My mind is blown yep. right now. Yep. Oh, you guys got, you guys got it from Matt on his own right here. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. I've used it for recipes. I've used yes. it for, um, coding on a website i wanted to come a colleague of mine i hate to use the word colleague because he's he's a friend first and foremost but mm -hmm. we happen to work together shout out to chad belford if you're out there um listening um and we were looking for a specific spinner on a website hey mm -hmm. and we he kept we kept trying to finagle stuff look for stuff that was already existing out there and mm -hmm. then finally i was like why don't we just use chat gpt came up with it like that that's incredible yeah yeah answered our question with what we wanted. My, uh, my colleague, Carly Mora, that works with me at Ditch That Textbook, she loves making uh, digital escape rooms. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Um, and I feel like we could do a whole episode on that too, <laughs> but, um, but she, she wanted to, she did one that was kind of like a spy theme. Okay. And she wanted to create what she called a spy name generator. And so she went to chat GPT and it coded up something. I think it was in HTML, might've been in Java. And she copied the snippet of code and she plugged it into, I think, Genially was what she was building oh, it in. Right. Yeah. And by, you know, embedding that code into that one spot in Genially, now all of a sudden she has a working spy name generator that was custom coded that she didn't write, but the bot wrote it for her. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. So this, is this your first time presenting this session? Yes. First time presenting this session. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So it's funny you say, when I first saw you a little bit earlier when you mentioned you were doing an AI session, yeah, 
that just goes to prove that AI has been around for quite some time. It's really only been really popular the past four months, but my brain went to the call for presenters for FETC was this summer or something? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we... Um we worked it out after ChatGPT okay. came. Okay. Yeah, so it didn't go out during those pr- proposals. That's good that you were thinking that. I, but yeah, that's where my, that's where I, yeah. my mind. My is, co-presenter is weird. Holly Clark was like uh, Holly Clark pro- Edu. Yes. Right. Yes. She she was like, we there needs to be a session about this. So she contacted FETC and they squeezed us in. That's why we're on Monday when not as many people are here. <laughs> I think because it was kind of last second. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! That's hilarious. Well. Um, I want to wish you luck. I know what it what it's like to present a presentation for the first time yes. in front of a group of people, and you have such a a, a following that your session is going to be jam packed. Not only because of the topic, but because you're Matt Miller, man. Oh. Like you said, you got five books under your belt. I'm I'm, I'm in the process of wrapping up uh, one as we speak. Congratulations! Thank you. Um, you could thank Jap- Chat GPT later on. No, yeah. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> yeah. uh, so hopefully that'll be out. Uh, before the summer, but nice. um, good luck. I hope everything goes well. I know everything's going to go well. Um, I just, you know, you know how it goes. I hope the internet works in your favor today and yours and Holly's and uh, continue doing the great things that you do. For the listeners and viewers, how can people connect with Matt Miller? Oh, the best place probably is to go to, just go to ditchthattextbook.com. You know, we've been publishing articles and blog posts and stuff for more than 10 years at this point on all sorts of... Older than Alexa. Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> that's right. All sorts of ed tech topics. In fact, um, my newest and best stuff comes out of my email newsletter. So if anybody wants to sign up for that, they can go to ditchthattextbook.com slash join. And there's a whole bunch of like free eBooks full of teaching ideas that they get when they sign up and everything. So uh, those uh, I'm on Twitter also at jmattmiller on Twitter. That's probably my biggest social media platform. Although I'm trying to do TikTok some. Oh boy! It's it's Here been a go. it's been a little bit of a start and stop process, but I'm 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 trying to settle in there a little bit too. Good luck with that, man. Good All luck right. with that. I appreciate it. And if, give them a follow. Follow them on social media. If you're pre- not presenting, if you're at FETC, check out his session. If not, check it out at another conference at some time because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a very popular session that you're going to be running see, yeah. throughout the whole uh, com- uh, conference. Yeah. Season. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. Absolutely. All right, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. Thanks.